Hanging high in the heels of the federal probe, leaving many to wonder what's next for the veteran lawmaker and his office. Jackie? And News 4's Alicia Rodriguez finds this has become the talk of the town, especially because Senator Maziarz is such a high-profile political figure. Yeah, Jackie, the talk of the town now quickly becoming who will replace him once his term ends at the end of the year. And we're taking a closer look at some of the potential candidates. And I, I, just, I just don't think you're going to find uh, a harder-working uh, elected official anywhere. And the head of Niagara County's Republican Party told News 4 he had no idea Senator George Maziar's planned to retire, but he wasn't entirely surprised. You know, he uh, likes to travel, I know, uh, and, and he has a wedding coming up with, with one of his daughters, so it's a, very, it's a very grueling job. He's gone most when session's in, four or five days a week, and he comes home and and uh, he's always out at events. But State Senate hopeful Republican Gia Arnold was surprised. That someone that's been campaigning the past several months received endorsements from a bunch of the parties and you know, even gathered signatures the past month to be on the ballot line would all of a sudden come up at last minute, possible de declining the nomination and not seeking a re-election. And I wonder how long this has been the plan. She's not on the Republican Party's radar yet. So far, North Tonawanda Mayor Robert Ort is at the top of the list. Uh, you know, it's it's very easy to say that things are planned uh, to try and plant seeds, but I, I believe if Rob ends up being the candidate after I meet with uh, with the other chairman, and uh, I, I feel he's he's got it as a, a well-rounded candidate that's going to bring a lot to to the state senate. It's certainly uh, of interest. I am very seriously considering it, um, but I'm considering it. You know. Well, he doesn't have a lot of time to consider it. There isn't much time to pick a candidate. State election law gives the party just three days. Mayor Orr plans to give his decision within a day. An announcement from the party is expected tomorrow. Reporting live, Alicia Rodriguez, News 4 at 6.